normally when I do one of these random events, I keep the money for myself. Hey, let's stop that bike! Somebody stop that guy! But this time, it was just a bike I was recovering. You gotta watch out. And not even a bike with gas, a bicycle. Screw this. Look at this. This shit ain't worth it. I let him go. I said, I ain't got time for that. Let me go deliver this bike back. There's no point not to give it back because what am I going to do with this little bicycle? Seriously, I mean, look at this. I don't want this. I'm looking like a fool. I'm not looking too cool with this bicycle. I don't think I can pick up any honeys in this bicycle. So he could have that. Oh, thank fuck you got it. Thanks, man. Seriously, you saved my ass. And that's why I couldn't believe my eyes about a day later when I got this text message saying, don't delete, this isn't spam. And I'm thinking to myself like, what? This isn't spam, let's read this. And it turns out that the guy's bike that I returned is a businessman, he owns a business, he's rich, and he gave me $100,000 worth of shares of his companies. I sold those shares immediately. And then I went to a clothing store and made it. It didn't matter if I was planning on wearing this or not. I just bought the entire store. Look, I'm looking like a fool. I'm not matching. I spent almost $20,000 in this store getting clothes. So now I'm driving back home so I can change because I don't want to be looking like a fool forever. I don't want to be mismatching forever. And then I see that security truck again. And this time I have an RPG. So I say, let's have some fun. But I've got to do this swiftly. I've got to do this smoothly because if I get locked up, my mugshot is going to be with this attire. I, I don't want to be seen looking like this. I don't want TMZ getting a hold of this. Chris Smooth looking like a new mismatch. <laughs> And who knows what the inmates would think if I walked up in there looking like this. They'd be like, what's wrong with that guy? We got to kill him. They'd be disrespecting me left and right. They'd be walking all over me. I just can't allow that to happen. If I'm going to get arrested, I got to be looking good. I can't be looking like a noob. I can't be looking like a bum when I'm getting arrested. So these cops, I've got to ditch them. I'm not even going to lie. It took me a while to finally get here away from them where they can't see me going down into the train station see i put away the rpg where'd the rpg go i don't have a backpack where to go i just made it disappear i'm a boss <laughs> i'm a magician look i'm hiding they don't know where i am how did he not see me so before i get into this next video i have a few more random moments to show off these guys on this motorcycle they stole something so i'm gonna get it back Oh, the slow motion effect. I'm gonna run that noob over, smash that noob's head. And I thought he was dead. Look, see, I ran over him a couple of times. He looked dead to me, but then look, somehow he gets up with a shotty, but I give him the bus driver uppercut. <laughs> Get down to the ground, noob. What kind of death streak was that? This guy, I ran that guy over. I smashed his head and he gets right back up with the shotty. That is some cheese. All of these events happened before the heist. This was before Franklin had 230 something thousand dollars. But now here in this clip, this is actually after the heist. This is right after the last mission and I'm driving against the traffic because I'm upgrading his special ability. I'm maxing it out right now. It's on four bars. I'm trying to get it to five. You see, I crash. I messed up. I was doing so good on this highway but I finally made a mistake. But something strange happens. Everyone starts getting out of the trucks. And first of all, why are there so many trucks? Look at this, there's like a hundred trucks on this highway. Oh, oh, I'm getting beat up. This guy attacked me. I didn't even hit that guy. Well, I did, but see, look, there's another guy behind. He's waiting in line to get into the fight. You see that? He's waiting in line. And then look, there's another guy. Oh, give that guy some glasses. He threw an elbow the other direction. Did you see that noob, the construction worker? Look at this old man. He thought he could fight. I let him get one swing when I was actually looking at him. 
And now I'm just going back and forth between these noobs. Look, back and forth. L look at the construction worker. <laughs> oh my god, the construction worker is funny. Bus driver uppercut. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I laid the smack down. Oh my god. I laid the smack down. But look at all these trucks. <laughs> is this a fake video? <laughs> and there's an ambulance in the middle of the trucks. <laughs> What is going on? Look at this cheese. There's like a hundred trucks on the highway right now. <laughs> so I had enough free roaming fun on the highway and I was actually on my way to make my first property purchase. And I see this nice vehicle the drop top. I said, give me that. Let me switch vehicles. Cause that, that one got beat up. All those trucks, it got beat up. I gotta be looking nice. I gotta be looking fresh in case there's some hot beach babes today. You never know, there might be some hot babes. So this is a medical marijuana joint right here on the beach. And the income per week is 9,000. I said, give me that. It's only gonna cost me 200,000 to get this to make 9,000 every week, 9,300. That's pretty good. I'm gonna have some more free roaming action coming soon, but now I wanna jump into the video, into the next mission, because it is some cheese. You gotta see this. Dude. Franklin is styling now, look at that. Looking like a boss now that he's got some money. So what's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh shit, y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked to child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at this shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new mollus, sort of a super mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. Now, he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs, you know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. Lester with the insider trading information. Finally, some stock tips that are clear. Before I kill this guy, I've got, I've got to buy those stocks. I'm putting all my money into that company Beta Pharmaceuticals. This better work, because if this doesn't work, I'm coming for your head. Lester, you're not going to have a head if this doesn't work. I might as well buy the stock with Michael and Trevor, too. Why not? I think Trevor has almost $200,000, so I can invest more than Franklin. So he's going to make more of a profit. What the? F what? I can swear this was a motel room. What in the world was Trevor doing? He's in his underwear when I switched to him. Oh my goodness, I don't even have time to think about how that happened. Let me just buy Beta Pharmaceuticals and quickly switch to Michael because this, I, I don't know what this is. I don't know what he's doing, but leave it up to him. To, only he would be caught doing something like that. 
Good thing I didn't buy that hangar back when I beat that mission flying. I wouldn't have all this money to invest with Trevor. I was going to buy it later. I figured I would just wait until I could switch characters again. That, that was a smooth move. Jimmy. So Michael's not doing anything important. He was just chilling like a villain. And yeah, he is a villain. So that's that's about right. So let's go ahead and put his money down. He's going to make a lot. If this works out, he's going to be a millionaire because he's got six hundred thousand. He, he's he almost has seven hundred thousand dollars. So hopefully this works. Let's put it all in. We're going all in like we're playing poker. We're gambling it all. He's only got $11 to his name. If I would have known that this opportunity was going to pop up, then I wouldn't have bought that store. I would have had an extra $200,000 to invest in this stock. That was a new move. But at least Michael's going to make out like a fat rat. Michael is the main guy anyway. He's the main money maker. I think he's going to make more money than all of us combined. Because when you buy properties, some of them can only be purchased by certain characters. And some of the ones that Michael can buy are like for 10 million. And that just gets me hype because if Michael can make 10 million, then the next few heists that we're going to do are probably going to be unbelievable because 10 million. The last one we did, the, the final take was only four point something million. So who knows what the ceiling is on the next few heists. This is going to be epic. I'm prepared for this. I've got a sniper rifle with a silencer and a scope. If I hit them one time, if I hit them perfectly, I don't think they're going to know where I am. We'll see, though. I've got a fast ride. I'm ready to flee the cops if I have to. And there's a timer, so we got to be quick with this. Got to hit them with the shot clock cheese. Let's go up a couple of levels. That's what criminals do. That's what snipers do. They don't just, they don't snipe somebody from the ground level. You got to go up a little bit. Let's see if this will do. Looks pretty good. Now the question is, is he going to come from the right or the left? That is a very good question. Maybe it's going to be the right because the car is facing that way. I, I, I don't know, though, because it looks like the hotel is right there and right there. It's got two entrances. Only time will tell. I've got to be fast. Let's move it out, people. We need this area cleared. Movement. We've got movement. Okay, it's not those guys. Or is it? Because it says 25 seconds. So does that mean that when it's at zero, they leave? Uh-oh, the guards are getting in the truck. They're getting in the SUV. Is that him? No, I don't think so, because he's going to that car. That wouldn't make sense. Okay, five seconds. I haven't seen a soul. Uh-oh. It's it's saying it's pointing at the truck. But, uh, oh, wait, wait, there he is. I see you. I got to make this count. We got a shooter. Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. That was beautiful. I don't even have a wanted level, not even one star. What maneuver could possibly be smoother for the getaway? Why not let it fly? Oh, that's dope. That is how you flee the scene. So clean, so mean. Oh, oh, oh. oh the assassination missions. These are going to be crazy. I was such a ghost. I can't even say how did he not see me. Hey, it's done. 
I know. Good work. All right, well, she, let me know about the next thing. Will do, uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and you know, property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man, whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. I've gotta see this. I'm going there immediately. No more annoying auntie in my house. If this house is up on the hill, then it's gotta be fancy because all the houses around here are just unbelievable. No way. No way, that is not the house. Are you serious? Is this the house? Wow, you know, you gotta be kidding. Oh, you, you, you're lying. You're lying, insider trading cheese. Look at this house. No way, no way. Let's get in here. With my tech in hand, looking like a gangster. Nah, let's go through the front door. Oh, 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 oh! Woo! This is lavish. This is like a condo, but it's a house. A flat screen, a plasma TV over the fireplace. Come on, cuh. We gotta watch some TV real fast. Let's see what they have. Oh, only two channels. How do I have this fancy house, but then I only got two channels on the TV? Come on now. This kitchen, this is, this is a fancy smancy kitchen. Look at that, look at that space. Look at that kitchen island. <laughs> Can I go out there? Oh yes, oh yes, this balcony is ridiculous. The view, the view of the city. This house is better than Michael's house. <laughs> oh my goodness, Michael is the rich one. And this house, oh yeah. It's got a pool too, we gotta go check that out. What doesn't this house have? This is unbelievable. His house is better than Michael's house. Michael's gonna be jealous if he sees this. I might have to tell him I still live over there with my auntie. He might, he might try to kill me to take this house from me. I've got a tub in the bedroom. Oh my goodness. Where's all the clothes? I know I got more clothes than that. I spent 20,000 in that one store. Very nice. Oh, that's an infinity pool too. We doing it big out here. Look at the size of that jacuzzi. Barbecue. This is just too much. And my boy Chop is here too. Where is he? Where's Chop? Did Lamar take him back? Is Lamar holding him hostage or holding him for ransom? Cause he sees I got that money now. Started from the bottom, now we here. It's time to go to bed. You, you deserve to get a good night's sleep. You did good today. Oh, what about the covers though? He just went to sleep with the shades on. <laughs> he woke up in a new Bugatti. I mean, he woke up in a new mansion. He got the shades on still. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see if these stocks, let's see if the stocks really did something. Nice, 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 nice. I'm selling it. That's eight. That's $80,000 earned. $88,000 profit. Let's do it. That is some cheese manipulating the stock market. Michael's probably a millionaire now. Let's see how much he made. How much did he make? How much did he make? He made, he made 590. Wow. He made a profit of over $500,000. He's got 1.2 million. 
Five dollars for a hand job is the best you're gonna get. Trevor doesn't belong in the city. This is two times now. He's always doing something strange, something odd. Let's see how much money he made. So he he made a hundred and thirty-eight thousand dollar profit. So he's gonna be sitting with what a hundred and thirty or three hundred thousand? Yeah, three hundred and eight thousand dollars. That worked out well. That was some cheese.